Hello, my name is Frank. Welcome to Learning in Technologies, Quick Tips for Teams. Have you ever wanted to create a team that has a lot of features already pre-populated for you? You can do that using Teams templates. In this quick tip, I'll show you how to do that. If you find members of your organization creating the same type of teams over and over again, one of the things you can do is create a team template. So when I go to create a team, and right now I'm in a corporate client as opposed to an educational client, when I go to create a team, I can create a new team directly from scratch, I can take an existing group of individuals in my Active Directory and I can put them together in a team, but I can also go in and I can choose a template. And Microsoft has provided a number of existing templates for corporate clients. And if you're an educational client, you'll actually see a nice little dialog box come up that shows a classroom, a uh, community of peers and organization, just a few different templates and a smaller selection of templates in an educational environment. But you'll notice here that I have this template called Outdoor Expeditions. When I click that Outdoor Expeditions, it's going to say these are the different channels that will be in there and these are the apps that will be in there. I'll hit start and I'll make this a public group. Everybody in my organization can join and we'll call this our Vancouver Island hike and this one will do the West Coast Trail. So we're going to plan a West Coast Trail and we're going to plan that for 2021. And this is our planning. This is our hike plan. So we're going to have a community of people go out for a nice hike on the West Coast Trail of Vancouver Island. So it's going to create the team. It takes a few moments. So you can see it's created the team. Now the channels were hidden, so they're all hidden. So I can actually just go in and show these different channels if I want to. So we can just go in and just so I can show you here how they look. We'll go into all the channels here and we will bring them onto the screen so that there should, we can set that up automatically. I'll show you that in a moment. So now I have this great, you know, uh, you know, generic template. I've created a nice template. I didn't have to put in all those channels. They were automatically put in there. And in addition to that, there's a number of applications that I also have put in there as well. And if you go in, I can drop them down. I can add different tabs in there. I can begin customizing the channel further, but that basic structure of the channel is built. Now, in order to do this, you can't do this as a user. You do need to get your IT team involved. So here I've gone in and I've logged into my administration center for teams and underneath the administration center, I can go into teams and I can go into teams templates and to create a new one. You can see all of the ones that I currently have in there. This is the one that I just created outdoor expeditions. I created this template so that I can make more teams using this template to add a new template. I just go into add and I can create a new template. I can use an existing team as a template and I can start with an existing template. One of the really handy ways of doing this is to create a team that's sort of not populated. It just has all of the channels, all of the applications that you want. Tell your IT department that you want to create more teams that are using it as a template and they can simply go in here, choose to use it as a template, use an existing team as a template, then they can go in and they will be able to go in and choose that team, the Vancouver Island hike team. You can see it here and they're going to now make another template based upon that. So you can see that we can, if we want as individuals, create a generic team, contact our IT department, ask them to add it in as a template. And then when we go in to create a new team, so if we go in to create a new team in our environment, what we can do is go into teams and we can go in and create a new team and we can now in here, create a new team, we can now use that as a template. So that's a great way of using templates in order to work with Microsoft Teams. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more tips and longer videos, and share with any colleagues that might benefit from this information. Thank you for watching. Here's some other videos you can check out on my channel.